Hola, soy Marcelo Martinez, escritor y director de Las Herederas. Les invito a que vean la película en el cine. The Heresies is based on my memories, on memories I had as a child of growing up in a very uh, female uh, society. I was grow, I grew up with sisters, uh, mother, aunties, great aunties, and of course, a lot of these memories are put inside the film because my way of discovering the world was through these voices. And yes, uh, I think the the idea um, of having two women has to do with the fragility, the vulnerability and the, the ability to tell a story from that uh, feminine perspective. I think also the fact that there are two women give a lot more of invisibility. I think in my society people are not used to see um, couples that are not straight couples in cinema. One of the challenges was to show a couple with other problems or with other issues that are not related only about sexuality. The issues are related about, are related about uh, aging, about um, economical crisis, about law crisis. And I think with two men, uh, it was, it was going to be more probably obvious, more in your face, the sexual issue, which for some reason it happened like that. I think gay visibility is a lot stronger than lesbian visibility. And in this film, like in my society, I work a lot with hiding things. And we shot in a real prison, and I have been, as a documentary filmmaker, I have been in that prison several times. And I always found it a lot more free and a lot more interesting than the outside world. So I said, at the premise of the film was this idea of where is, of where is freedom, you know? And because I think I come from an elite of the country that is a lot more constrained and a lot more imprisoned than in a real prison. And I have a very good friend that read my script, the first draft, and he said, you should meet Anna Broom. So I remember I didn't know her, and I called my mom, and I said, do you know me? Paraguay is a very small society. And I said, do you know this woman? And my mom said, I don't know her that well, but I remember her eyes. And that was beautiful, because I needed someone who could, with her eyes, uh, have the expression and the ability of uh, take you in a journey, in a movie. So Anna Brun, actually her name is not Anna Brun, we live in a very homophobic society and she was worried that people will know, oh my god, she's a lawyer. She said, oh my god, as a lawyer, my clients will know I am playing these lesbian characters and they will no longer give me jobs. So she changed her name and we thought the film was going to be very tiny and no one was going to see it anyway. And then everything happened with the film and that is lovely that this also transformed her, you know. And with Anna Brun, we chose the rest of the characters in the film. Chiquita is a well-known actress, theater actress. She, had a, she has a career spanning over 50 years. And she was one of the six or seven women I cast with Anna Brun. And we found that she could have the connection in order to run the relationship and the way she runs. She runs it, but also I think she's a lovable character, you know. Some people don't like Chiquita that much, and some people love her because they understand that living with this sad, kind of depressed woman is also very difficult. I wanted to make a film that, besides being the intimate story of two women, also asks questions about my society. And uh, the, the role of a uh, man in my society is extremely, in my society, the role of man is extremely boring, you know. You grow up in a, with identities shaped by the army and by the Catholic Church, and you're supposed to have all the answers, even as a little boy, while women are allowed to ask questions, to be vulnerable, to be fragile. And I said, this is the best way of, and the most organic way for me, to reflect about my country and I really didn't care that much that men were not that involved. 